Hey gang, welcome to your fourth Vuex tutorial and in this video we're going to talk about how we can use computed properties with Vuex. Alright, so in the last tutorial we created this central store using Vuex and right now this store is just sitting around doing nothing. Yeah, we've exported it, but we're not importing it anywhere. And what we need to do to use this central store in our application is to import this first of all into our main.js file and say that we want to use this store within this view instance. Remember, this view instance is controlling pretty much everything in our application. It's taking over this ID in the HTML template and it's replacing it with all of our view component code, right? So we need to say that within this view instance, we want to use our data store. And to do that, first of all, we need to import that store into this file. So I'm going to say import, and then we're importing the store that we exported. Remember, we called it store right here. So we're importing that from, and then it's dot forward slash to say current directory, first of all, then it's the store folder, then it's store.js. We don't need to say dot js though. Okay, cool. So we've imported that now. Now we need to say we want to use it. So I'm going to come underneath here and say store is store. Okay. So we're saying right here that the data store we want to use is store, which is this thing we've just imported. And now we can use it in this application and we can reach out and grab data from this store in our different components, which is what we're going to do now. So if we go to our first component product, this one, we want to grab that data from this thing. First of all, we no longer need to receive any data as a prop. And in fact, if we go to our root component app.view, we no longer need to pass down any data here as props either. So we'll remove those as well because we're accessing all the data now from the store. So if we go back to our product list one, we're no longer receiving any data as a prop. This time we want to reach out to the central store and get data from there. Now, the way we do that is not in the data function right here. We do it in a computed property because we're not defining the data on this component. We're using a computed property to compute it, if you like, to reach out and get it. So what I'm going to do is just actually delete this data for now. So instead, I want to create a computed property. So I'll say computed, first of all, can I spell? No. So computed, and that is an object. And inside this object, if we just scoot it up a little bit, OK, inside this object, I want to create a computed property called products. So products, it matches up to what we're using right here. OK, so in here we need to return a value. So we'll return something first of all. And now we're going to reach out to the store. And to do that, we can say this, which refers to this component, first of all. And we can say dot dollar sign store. And we can do that because we've installed view X and we've used it in our application. So we can say now we want to access the store and on the store, we want to access the state property. Remember in this store, we created this thing right here, state, right? So we're accessing the state and we want to access the products property on the state, which is this thing right here. Make sense. So now we're grabbing those products and we're returning those in this computed property. So when we refer to products now, we're actually refer to, uh, referring to the data that's on the store called products. Make sense? Cool. So now if we save this and view it in the browser, we should see the products in product list one. Awesome. So we're now successfully receiving that data from the store and outputting them right here. Let's do the same thing for our other component. I'm just going to copy this dude because I don't want to paste it. Uh, I don't want to write it all out again. And again, we can delete the props thing right there and the data. So let's delete that and paste this in instead. So again, we're making a computed property called products and getting the same data from the store. And if I save this now, hopefully we should get it down here in product list two as well. Voila, we do. Okay. So congratulations, you've created your first store using Vuex and we've accessed data from it. So the good thing now is that if we want to access data, we don't need to mess around with props to access that data. We can just use a computed property to reach out to our store and grab that data. Now, this might seem a bit like overkill for a project as small as this, because we've only got two components and one set of data. Uh, it seems like a lot of work just for this little application. Now, fair enough. 
I agree with you. And in a case like this, where you're making an application this small, you probably don't need to use Vuex. But Vuex gets really good when you're making much larger applications with lots of components which share data and need to commun uh, communicate with each other. So we don't have all of that props um, handed down from component to component and events firing back up. Okay.